I'm Sean Gannon from this is Minute Maths, and today we're going to learn about dividing polynomials. So if I was given this problem, b to the third minus 2b squared minus 14b minus 5 divided by b plus 3. Okay? Well, I need to make this uncover this long division. My divisor, b plus 3, goes into my dividend b to the third minus 2b squared minus 14b minus 5. Okay? So now I ask myself the question, what times b gives me b to the third power? That's b squared. So b squared, that's better b, let's do this. Yeah. Better b, well, don't judge me, don't judge me, don't judge me. So we have v squared here. v squared times v is v to the third power. V squared times 3 is plus 3V squared. We subtract the 2. Okay? V to the third minus V to the third is 0. Should eliminate. That's great. Minus 2V squared minus and 3V squared is minus 5V squared. Okay? So now I ask the question again. What times V gives me a minus a 5V squared? And that's a minus 5V. Multiply it out. Minus 5V. Oh. Sorry, I forgot to write down the minus 14v there. Don't forget that step. Minus 5v times a v is a minus 5v squared. Minus 5v times 3 is a minus 15v. We subtract the 2. Okay. Minus 5v squared minus minus 5v squared. It's like adding a positive. They eliminate, which they should. Minus 14v minus negative 15v is like adding a positive 15v. It's just a positive 1v. Okay. We bring down the minus 5. So let's ask the question again. What times v is v? And that's just 1. Pretty simple. Good old 1. I'll write it like that. 1. 1 times v is v. 1 times 3 is a positive 3. We subtract the 2. v minus v is just 0. Fantastic. But minus 5 uh, minus 3 is just a minus 8. So that is our remainder, that minus 8. So my final answer here is v squared minus 5v plus 1 minus 8 over my remainder, which is v plus 3. And that is the final answer. So let's recap. We're given v to the third minus 2v squared minus 14v minus 5 divided by v plus 3. We wrote that in long division here. Divisor goes into my dividend. Ask the question, what times v gave me v to the third power? That's v squared. Multiply it to both parts here. That's subtracted. Got me a minus 5v squared. Don't forget to bring down a minus 14v. Same thing. What times v gave me a minus 5v squared? That's a minus 5v. Multiply minus 5v to both parts here. And then I subtracted it, giving me just a positive v there. Brought down a minus 5. Again, question, same question again. What times v gives me v, which is just 1. Multiply 1 to both parts and subtracted and got a minus 8. So then my final answer here, <coughs> the minus 8 being my remainder, final answer is that v squared minus 5v plus 1. That's written right there minus my remainder 8 over my divisor, which is v plus 